Hi folks, welcome to Paul Sherry RVs in beautiful Pickwell, Ohio. Today we're featuring a 2002 Monaco Knight diesel pusher, a 34 PPD. Very rare to have a 34 foot diesel pusher. Most of them's 40 foot and bigger. One owner, very good shape, just traded in here. Has a diesel generator in the front. As you can hear, it is very quiet. It is running right now. Like I said, a one owner, very good shape. Got the gray bottom paint, awning over the door, metal wrapped awning, main awning, awnings on all your windows all the way around. As you can see, tires are in very good shape. Wearing well, fairly new tires. Nice storage underneath. Let's see if I can open a few of these doors for you guys. We go all through all systems, guarantee that they work. We also fill the propane. Right here is a 110 outlet on the outside, plus a coaxial where if you can hook a TV up on the outside. This, this motor home came from down south. As you can see, it's not all rusty below the baggage doors. There's where your propane fill is. We fill it up. Shot of your back tires here. Notice there's no dry rot, very good shape. Also has a 10 gallon water heater. It's washer dryer prepped as well. Back in this compartment would be your batteries with your on and off battery switches. There's your power inverter. So you can virtually watch TV off of battery power. This transfers all the battery power back to 110 electric to some of your outlets and especially to your TV. It makes the draw of your batteries go a lot slower and last a lot longer. So that's probably at least a thousand watt power inverter there, folks. There's also an extension ladder that hooks to this ladder so you can get to the top. You can leave it off, keep other people or kids off of it, carry it in your storage area. Back here in the back, all your air conditioner and transmission coolers. Check your oil and engine oil from back here. Very good condition. Big heavy hitch on the back. It's got a Cummins diesel in it, a Monaco Knight. Here's your rear vision camera. Nice air intake. Take in your fresh air. Side radiator for cooling. Let me back up, give you a nice side view from over here. Also has slide out awning covers. Two slides on the same side. So it has hydraulic jacks. Have you shot of those? Air ride, air brakes. <sighs> 50 amp service. Dual air conditioner. Has a surge protector built in. Place to feed your satellite cable in if you want to run cable or a cable from the TV from the campground to you. Left rear tire, very good condition. Here's where your sewer dump station is. That's your water pump, no fuss flush. Sanitize, winterize, fill your water tank. Everything done right here. Easy winterization valve. Very clean, well taken care of motorhome, guys. Don't let the miles scare you. It is in very, very good shape. Air horn on the roof. See that? Very quiet diesel generator. There's your exhaust for it. 
front tire. Very good shape. All right, here's the air hookup. Use the air system, check tires, fill tires. Just put a quick neck air hose. There's all your wiring, all automotive style wiring hookup, all in wire looms. Very good shape. You have a 7500 kilowatt Onan quiet liquid cool generator. Very quiet, quieter than a gas. Power everything in this unit at once. Close this real easy. Very good shape. Let's go inside now. Nice big screen door. This is a power step cover. Push a button, it comes across. So right there at the passenger seat, you don't fall in the hole while you're driving. You can also stand on that. Push the button, slides across, very easy to use. Grab handle as you come in. You got a battery disconnect here. Plus your entry lights, storage lights. Nice front seats, they've been recovered. Sun cracks them out over time. As you can see, the dash and everything's in very good shape. Stereo, generator start, radio switch. You wanna see your step cover go in and out? Just that easy, folks. Can't beat that with a stick. Heater and air conditioning controls, rear vision camera. It's your big steering wheel. This is a diesel pusher, air ride, air brakes. You can simply drive it with two fingers, just like driving a car. Very easy to drive. There's all your controls. You have an air dump system on it. Allison transmission, push button, electric heated mirrors, power uh, assist. You can move your pedals back and forth on your, on your brake and gas. Battery boost, fast idle to warm it up quicker. Cruise control, electric jacks, air parking brake, cup holder, very good shape. This is a Monaco, very high-end company. They've also changed out the old TV and they put in a flat screen TV. Very professionally done, looks very nice. Got speakers throughout, places for DVD player, nice video switch box, hookups for all kinds of stuff up there. Now let me step down and give you a view of the inside. As you come inside, you have a kitchen slide. Benefits of a kitchen slide. Doesn't take up that much room when it comes in. Very nice to travel with. As you can see, the carpet has been covered as you enter. And the for light tan carpet is in very, very good shape. Also, they've changed it out to a table and chairs, make it more comfortable as we get older we seem to put a little bit more lbs on and need a little bit more space around the waist as we sit down all kinds of storage everywhere guys oak cabinets you can see it's all in good shape also features dual pane windows makes it easier to heat and easier to cool close up of the furniture very very good shape solid surface countertops huge sink all one piece countertop tons of doors and drawers nice overhead light turn that on for you a little brighter when you cook on some slop over here, you got a convection microwave. No need for an oven. You can do all your browning and cooking inside there. Or use it as just plain microwave. Little pantry area. Cook cover for your stove. Tons of storage. Big drawer. Tons of storage. Over here, you get the $2,000 upgrade. A four-door refrigerator. 
refrigerator at the top, fr freezer at the top, refrigerator at the bottom. You also have a built-in ice maker, folks. All right, here's your system's controls. This is for your power inverter. It tells you what volts you're using, your amps, how to invert. It also charges your batteries when you're plugged in or your generator running. You got a system heat for down below front and rear slides you got two slides in this check your batteries there's your house battery there's your engine battery <sighs> tell you how full your tanks are water pump switch you can run your water heater on 12 volt propane or you can run it on 110 electric there's your energy management system controls everything this is your bathroom area and we'll close that off Nice door that closes off your kitchen from your bathroom. Nice pocket door there. Also, as you come inside here, ample counter space for getting ready. Nice big mirror, medicine cabinet behind it. Over here on the other side, you have plenty of storage for towels or whatever. Plus there's a hanging rod in there. And if you wish, you can also, it's washer dryer prep and you can add a one piece washer dryer into that area. Fully ducted central air, two air conditioners, private stool with a por porcelain with a foot flush and a sprayer for easy cleanup. Nice storage in there, air conditioner vent in the bathroom and a furnace vent. All your heat's in the floor, all your air's in the roof. Nice one piece fiberglass shower. We'll sit down in the corner. You can see it's good shape. No water leaks, no stains. Very good shape, guys. Nice deep medicine cabinet. Now, nice queen walk around bed, easy to access. Closets on each side. And then for all that extra storage, instead of the bed sliding, simply your closet and your drawers slide out right next to the bed. You can still access your hanging closet when the slide is in. So you can see very good shape. I'll show you inside there. All kinds of storage. I don't know if you can read some of the capacities there. Holds 90 gallons of fresh water, folks. Give you a little 360 view of the bedroom. Nice little TV in the corner, out of the way. Also, you have your heating and air conditioning control. Separate switches for each zone. There's another set of these up in the front of the coach. From the bed, here's a view of the bathroom. Plenty of storage. Walk you back up here, show you the kitchen again. All your doors and drawers. Beautiful oak cabinets, flat screen TV, tons of storage in a small coach, 34 feet. Why do you need any bigger? Come see us at Paul Sherry RVs in Piqua, Ohio, or visit us on the web at www.paulsherryrvs.com.